Welcome back to Oracle of Ages. And last time we were prepared to traverse this dangerous water with a jump. Right. McFly is weighing his options and decides to jump into the ocean. And then he misses. That's gotta suck. <laughs> Ooh, flippers. Fittingly enough. And a rope that doesn't decay in water. He's invented nylon! The genius. Really feels like it should be able to get into the water in the upper left corner, but I don't think it can. Oh, I still have the Biff voice in my head with that line. <laughs> hey, McFly! I gotta save Nehru! Ralph's got some good memory if he remembers the one name on some random grave, unless he went there and took inventory. Ralph totally hangs out in the graveyard. All the time. I can see it. Have we been overtaken by demons? Bitch, we discovered <laughs> six episodes ago. This little movement animation amuses me the most. Oh yeah, he's cute. Because with his sprite design, it's a little more dramatic than everyone else's. He's just like, he's so excited to see you! Oh my god, someone's here! They want one of my rafts! The animals are still listening to what? <laughs> I mean, they, they talk like they're worried, but they just don't look like it. I mean, the bear just looks like he's chilling. They're just listening to each other complaining. We're so lonely. But miraculously, I had a reason to come back to the graveyard so I can get that gasha tree. Uh, you're not jumping that yet. I don't know. Maybe I can make it if I can land, like, <laughs> right in the middle of those cracks. Well, if you use the speedrunning strats of edge walking, you could. Which I don't know, so... Just, just <laughs> keep going, keep going. You got it this time. Oh no. Angry tongue ghosts attacking a polar bear with wings. It's not creepy at all. Like, this one image just brings up too many questions. So yeah, this game's got animals that are... They're interesting. I don't know if I like the inclusion, but there they are. It's a little bit thin. Yeah. So this is Moosh. Love that name. Overall, he's probably... A, he's a useful companion, I will say that much. Despite his size and his itty bitty wings, he is able to hover. He's not going anywhere. No. He's also railroading you. You haven't appraised a ring in a while. I know. You've got two. I need to take care of that soon. Nope. <laughs> you can't rock's feather onto him, you just need to walk up to him. I keep pressing the wrong button. He's a steady mount, that bear. So, I wonder how Ralph got to this grave. I'm sure he smashed through half of these. He just stepped over the gate that's right there. Yeah, come with me, Moosh. No, not more of these guys. God damn it. No, Moosh... <laughs> <laughs> and they push the grave back. The ghost is like, fuck that. <laughs> Moosh is afraid of water, remember. 
too relevant. We don't really see him anywhere near water. That's why he won't come in this cave, he's afraid. Well, I'm not afraid. Because I sort of immediately know what's going to be in here. I sort of like the conceit of the time travel. Like, in this case, where Cheval, we needed to wait for him to develop this rope, so what do we do? Literally just wait. And then you rob his grave. <laughs> and we get two things for it. Because this isn't the rope, this is just for us. We get the flippers, now we can swim. For me? Now we're Marty McSwim. <laughs> we have fused. So the swimming is the same as in Link's Awakening. There's only a few places where you can dive and enter a new area. And you can press A to move faster for like a millisecond and make a funny little bloop noise. And there's the rope. It'll never rot. Come on. Come on. They're waiting for you. I want him to just fall in the water. That'd be so much funnier. It'd be funny if you couldn't get out and Moose just left <laughs> you hanging. Sucks to be you. Oh, why couldn't you do that? Or whatever. <laughs> and now back to the past. We are creating... Yet another of those weird Oracle of Ages paradoxes. We are giving the rope that has not yet been developed to this kid to make a raft. Yet, the guy who's going to develop the rope is going to develop it much later. I don't know. It's like bringing a cell phone back with you. Why would the guy need to develop the rope if this kid already has it? Because they already used it. It's a one-time use rope. Oh. Oh. Why does everything smell like copper right now? <laughs> There's nothing else interesting in this house. No, despite it being two screens wide. Oh, hello again. We, we haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> 400 years. So you've got an instrument that helps you travel through time. How's Ralph doing all this. I think he's just stuck here. Stuck in the past forever. <laughs> <laughs> he's so great. He's something, all right. Back to the future. Part two. Oh, look, another one. There's so many animals in this part. Yeah, so the game's got three animal sidekicks. This is the second one. He's probably the one I hate the most. <laughs> one thing that's a little funny, we'll see this with the third one, and it was the case with Moosh. Those two are being attacked. In Ricky's case, just standing around. Let me just stand here and play a song for a minute. I have to always remember to put the Harp of Ages back <laughs> in my inventory, because I keep accidentally playing it. I like how you fell in the hole anyway. <laughs> Did you try swimming in the ocean yet with your flippers? I think I will. I can pretty much just say right here, you cannot swim in the ocean. A river and a pond, maybe, but anything deeper than your own body, nope. Can't deal with that riptide. That's gross. <laughs> Probably not sanitary. So, one of the reasons I hate Ricky is that his movement is so weird and awkward. I don't think he is, but he feels like the slowest one. I thought I remember reading that Ricky was a girl. 
she is the slowest one. <laughs> Did you just assume that kangaroo's gender? Well, I would figure the females would be the ones with the pockets. That's true. You win this time. Also, why are you asking me when you're the one who is saying he? <laughs> Touché. <laughs> now, speaking of unassumed genders, here's Tingle. <laughs> we can finally talk to him. Time to face the Tingle. It was inevitable. Uh, smitten is not the word I would use. <laughs> that means you're smitten with me! So he's 35 here, which is the same age he is in Majora's Mask. So either this game is set at the same time, or very soon after, where Tingle is ageless. He's a Highlander. A Fairylander. Does that mean all the guys he's got working for him in Wind Waker, he has to cut their heads off? <laughs> That's what happens when you don't do the work. But fittingly enough, like in Majora's Mask, where he gives you maps, in this game he gives us a chart. And it's not the last thing he does, he's not completely useless. We can come back here when we've found more seeds, and he'll actually upgrade our capacity. Pretty nifty. Don't steal those magic words. What if I quote them in a humorous context? Right. So, Ricky does get a little bit of redemption with this little tongue-in-cheek, uh, I'm gonna get out of here, this guy's creepy. <laughs> I do like the sound effect. They almost made Tingle cute. So close. But you are right, we need to get these appraised. Oh, you have four, jeez. Alright, power ring. Love it. So it's level one. There's actually three levels of power ring. And if you can find the level three power ring, that's the one that makes you pretty much OP. Well, I'm definitely considering it. I'm sure I'm gonna look for it. Become an Octorok. No, I tried putting on the Octorok ring, because I thought that would be mm -hmm. fun. I couldn't get it to work. What am I supposed to do? All it does is turn you into an Octorok. But it didn't. That's it. That's strange. Did you equip it? Yeah. Because rings do nothing unless worn. I was wearing it, and then I walked out and waited. No, you have to actually go to your menu and hit equip on it. Well, that's stupid. Believe it or not. Yeah, it is. You can't just put it in your box. You're basically carrying the ring in a little box in your pocket, and you have to pick which one you put on. That explains a lot. So I guess we're going to be going through half the game without a ring. It's all good. Those are the things you learn. It's not like Vashu tells you every time rings do nothing unless worn. But hey, we're at sea! Pretty basic. Pretty obviously you're being led in a certain direction. Uh-oh. And what we're being led into is a storm. Link's Awakening all over again. Oh, rocks. Oh, no, monkey. Oh, God. Oh, lightninged in the face. These jerks. Meet the Toke. The last animals we'll be meeting in this menagerie of hell. They've stolen my items. Thanks, guys. What dicks? So I do like that little parallel with that little cutscene with that in Link's Awakening, where you're at sea and a storm lightning bolt strikes you and then you're washed up on a deserted island. Pretty cool. Well, not deserted, but... A foreign and strange land with no items. Yeah, damn. Also, there are blue Octoroks on this island. That means they're stronger. Red enemies are like the baseline... I think blue are, like, twice as strong, maybe? Mm-hmm. No, you can't get him yet. Nope, I gotta find my shovel first. 
this Crescent Island, so named because a part of you was missing. <laughs> you need to find one item, go around, use it to collect the next item, and go on and on until you've gotten all your items back. Or at least, that would have been easier than what actually ends up happening. It's kind of like the thing that's in Skyward Sword, but less fun. I don't know, I feel like they're both equally a pain. At least you get- Whoa! <laughs> Made it worth it. Worth it! I don't know, I feel like the one in Skyward Sword might be a little better, because at least you get to play, like, Metal Gear Link. Briefly. Strangled, I mean... I think under this point they all say this exact same thing. Yeah. Need to fix this. There we go. Yeah, I do that all the time. B is my sword button. I don't know why it defaults to A. And if you are an A button sword player, you're playing the game wrong. <laughs> I'm judging you. All of this stuff respawns when you leave the room, so I don't know why I'm doing this. It's fun to cut some crystals with your wooden sword. Yeah, what the hell? So pushing that little seed in front of the wall will actually affect something. Yep, this is another place where, once we get our harp back, we'll be traveling through time again. But the harp is actually the last item we get back. So the toke that aren't holding anything, their little default animation looks like they're dancing, like a little sachet. Got another business scrub selling a shield, but nope. <laughs> I know these guys stole it from you, but here. Hey, I saw you dig that big blue one. You can afford it. Yeah, I could have bought it, and I still would have made a profit, but... I'm gonna see how far I can go without the shield. I'm surprised you're resisting the urge to dig every bit of dirt on this island. Well, I want to get off this island. <laughs> Unfortunately, the third dungeon's on this island. Well, I mean, at least get through the dumb part. You're not going to be able to get that chest for quite a while. Aw, oh, baby cuckoos. They're so cute. And they follow me around. Yeah. I think they're the only babies in the game, but... Yeah, they follow you around. They're kind of cute. Aw, they trust me. These guys have held us captives. Get us out of here. I mean, I know the door's open, but come on. Now, here's actually the other gimmick of Crescent Island. This is a little trading post. He wants seeds for both of our items. We don't have seeds, though, so alternately we can trade our shovel for one of these. We can only trade the shovel for one of them at a time, though. Right. He also wants scent seeds for one of them, which is a seed we've never even gotten yet. Nope. We need to get that in the process of getting through the island. No, it's a little weird. I think that toke right there actually says there used to be a scent tree around here somewhere. If only we could find a sapling, and you get a sapling on the island from another toke. They don't talk to each other very much. And here's how we get our fun item back. Oh boy, I can't wait to bomb some cuckoos. I kind of like this music. It gets a little whimsical. I hate the Crescent Island music, but that's mainly because of the, the fetch quest that it involves. It grates after a while.
<laughs> Don't know why I was trying to pull on that tree. <laughs> just gonna bash my head on this palm tree. <laughs> oh, that's a dick move. Bet you wish you could swim over here. Yeah, so this is the... I need to go back and get the thing that I can jump with. So you have to visit that shopkeeper one for quite a while. You need to go all the way back multiple times. It's this thing we think we don't have. My family's been hoarding it for generations. I'll give it to you if you can throw meat at these lizards. Alright, Zelda theme. Oop. Oh no, you're failing already. <laughs> <laughs> so the minigame is fairly easy. The only real trick you need to keep in mind is the meat will immediately disappear if it lands on the ground. You need to throw it directly to the toke. They do not eat floor meat. Yeah, they won't pick it up. Except that it did fall to begin with. It's five second roll. And that red one signals that's the end. Yeah, maybe I should have made this game a little harder. <laughs> that was my entire life savings. I was gonna eat that tree. I was gonna eat that shovel. They would. So I'm looking at this and wondering, why are all these rocks here? Because, aside from in the top left corner, which we do need to come back with a power bracelet to get into a new area, the rest of these, you don't really pull these up and do anything with them. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't know, it's just scenery, I guess? I did a lot of editing here. Hey, this hey, <laughs> hey, I still got a shield. This video is 26 minutes long. I cut it down from 55 minutes. Oh, this section is so bad. That's funny. Just a little bit of funny dialogue. What do you expect? No, this is just a chest for something extra. I get a little confused for a second here. Then I figure it out. There you go. I thought it was going to follow a certain pattern. Which is why I got a little stuck there. So you picked up the Gasha Seed Ring, which is a nice ring to have, um, if you remember to put them on. But basically <laughs> what it does is it makes your seeds grow faster. You have to kill less enemies to make a seed grow. Ah. Which is pretty nice, if you're trying to farm them. I'm just kind of planning them and forgetting them. That's the way to do it. If you're trying to 100% though, you have to farm them because there's a heart piece that comes out of one of them. Oh boy. Hey, I'm glad you came. I snorted some of these. Uh, I'm sorry. And we got our mystery seeds back so we can get back at least one of our items. Oops. I crushed that seed. Yeah, when you do that, just leave the area, come back, it'll respawn. You'll have to move it back into place, though. You've damaged the whole ecosystem. Which, at this point, I think is probably for the best. <laughs> Maybe this island should just die. <laughs> Light the store on fire on your way out. <laughs> In revenge.
there. Now I've got all my necessities. You do need to leave the shovel behind. It feels like you only need it to get the sword, and then that's about it. Right. Now, what's the logic of this? I... Uh, I don't know. Puzzle for puzzle's sake, I guess? I guess. Not even a puzzle? I mean, if we're willing to accept a big metal block with a face that tries to kill you for fun, I guess we can accept that. You got your harp back! Beats him over the head with the harp. <laughs> Sticks his head between the strings. God. Oh, you do need your shovel! Or do I? Nope. At least not yet. And he was never heard from again. <laughs> So I cut it off there because there is a little bit more in the present on Crescent Island, but the video would have gone over 30 minutes, and I like to keep them at least between 20, 25 at the most. Fair enough. But uh, that also made the next part a nice even 23 minutes. We won't be on Crescent Island itself for much longer, just a couple more minutes and then we can get straight to the dungeon. Which is for the best. I also like to think that this is the alternate timeline where McFly died in time travel. <laughs> now Ralph can save Nehru. For real. What is he even doing, though? He seems to be running around inspecting dirt and screaming, and that's about it. He's obviously found the Pegasus boots by the way he's running, so he's doing something. I like to think he's just bashing trees all day, hoping for Nehru to fall out. <laughs> he should be bashing his head on the palace walls, then. Something tells me he's not that bright. Or is he? Well, not anymore, because he keeps bashing his head against walls. 